got so much there for nothing, and to see the delight in their faces for giving them so little. They're just human beings looking for a chance in life, and please God they'll get it. I think what has happened this week is beyond their wildest dreams. And the only way I can put it, which really knocked me back and brought tears to my eyes, earlier on this week, a little child turned around and said, that God sent you, send us. Hopefully we have gone some way towards improving the lives of the children in this orphanage, but remember there are hundreds and hundreds of orphanages in Romania, and some in a lot worse condition than this one was a few days ago. What these people need, what the orphanages need, are building materials, cleaning materials, but most of all, they need people. They need people to come out and do the work and people to look after the children. So if you'd like some information about helping children in Romania, please send a large stamped addressed envelope to Romanian Fact Sheet, Challenge Annika, London W1A3AR. Christmas on BBC One. A new murder mystery, Artists in Crime. Why does a successful chap like Carlos Connolly, why does a chap like that top himself? Simon Williams stars as Inspector Allen. The outgoings from his account were consistent with blackmail, but they weren't conclusive. Well, I think I've got a candidate for our blackmailer. She's a model, Sonia Gluck. If you think you can frighten me, think again. Artists in Crime, tomorrow at five past eight on BBC One. Okay, how does it feel? It feels good. The Jack Putter machine, zero defects. <sighs> Inner Space, in half an hour, here on BBC One. Now, just before we join Les Dennis, the chance to look forward to programmes for New Year's Eve when we'll have the Jock McSporran Hogmanay show with the masked bagpipes of Arctur Mukti and the Loch Ness Teenage Mutant Hero Monsters plus the lucky Heather Highland dancers of Dumfries with Maura McCossack and her musical caber all washed down by Hamish McWhiskeybreath's lifelike impression of a freshly killed haggis that's except for viewers in Scotland who have their own programme Lisa Maxwell is currently appearing at the London Palladium in Russ Abbott's Palladium Madhouse. Here's a new bird, sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman, then pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man. But you can do the job when you're in town. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Oh, good show, Bow. Good show. Watch it.
Christmas on BBC One. You rang, my lord? Couldn't you manage it somehow? No, I've got royalty coming. Royalty should always dress the part. I like a king to look like a king. And a queen to look like a queen. <laughs> <laughs> I invited the king and queen of Dalmatia. I think he wants to invest you with the Royal Order of the Swan. <laughs> I've never been awarded a royal swan. Although, from time to time, I have been given the odd goose. Christmas, you rang the Lord. Tomorrow at 7.15 on BBC One. Now on BBC One, a film to make you feel even less of a speck on the earth than you really are. Dennis Quaid, Martin Short and Meg Ryan join forces for a magical anatomical tour, which takes us coursing round the veins of a hypochondriac's inner space. Thank <laughs> you.